Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have opted home science for the first time or you are keen to know about this subject, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such updates. This is Jasneet Kaur, your home science teacher. Don't forget to like my videos and share this channel with your family and friends. In today's video, we will be doing first chapter of Human Ecology and Family Sciences, also known as Home Science. My dear students, as you all will be studying this subject for the first time, I would like to begin with the introduction of subject's name. Human Ecology deals with the relationship of living beings and with their environment. Whereas the term family sciences deals with the interaction of human beings as a member of their families and society. In the syllabus of class 11th, special attention is given to adolescence period as this period is known to be turning point in one's life. Thus, you will study how adolescents develop an understanding of themselves. The knowledge of this subject can be achieved through understanding different fields of this subject. Home science has a vast scope because it has multiple disciplines. It deals with altogether different fields which human beings come across sooner or later in their lives. Beginning with food and nutrition, we understand the concept of health, fitness, balanced diet, healthy eating patterns, therapeutic meal plannings, and many such related concepts. In clothing and textiles, we understand the role of clothing, their production, care, and maintenance. In resource management, we discuss about all the available resources we have as a human like human resources, non-human resources, natural and community resources, and many more. Apart from that, if I talk about communication and extension, in this field, we understand the nature of communication process, levels of communication, communication technologies, and much more related content. In the last field under Home Science or HEFS is Human Development. And in this, we get to know different stages of human life and their characteristics. Also, concepts like development, growth, etc. Now, after pursuing higher education in this subject, one can go for career opportunities like in human development, one can become child counselor, work in government projects like ICDS, open daycare centers, associate themselves with some NGOs and can work in the favor of children. In food and nutrition, one can opt careers like chef and can work in hotels and restaurants, dietitian in hospitals, gyms, nutritional consultants at various institutions and can also conduct cooking or bakery classes. Moving on to next, to resource management and design application. In this, one can become consumer activist, interior decorator, human resource professional, and can go into event management. Next, fabric apparel and science. This field is entirely related with clothing, so one can become fashion designer, fashion technologist, and can open tie and dye or block printing units as well. Moving on to next unit of home science, that is uh, community development and extension. It is also known as communication and extension. So one can go uh, for career opportunities like social entrepreneur, work in government projects which are initiated for the upliftment of underprivileged people, or can work with entertainment industry into different fields like radio jockey, acting, direction, etc. Moving on to our next topic, that is evolution, means when this subject was started. In earlier times before independence, this subject was taught in many institutions of the country in the form of different courses. But soon it was decided to impart knowledge of these courses under one field, 
Hence, in 1932, very first College of Home Science, Lady Irwin College in Delhi, was established. Behind this, there were few eminent personalities who conceived the idea of setting up this college. They were Sarojini Naidu, Rajkumari Amrit Kaur, and Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay. At the time of British Viceroy in India, Lord Irwin and his wife Dorothy Irwin too supported the idea and helped in setting up the college. That's how the name of the college came up. Moving on to next topic, which is one of my favorite, is misconceptions about home science. Due to lack of awareness, people believe this subject only focuses on individuals' cookery or laundry skills. Otherwise, the understanding of this subject is meaningful only for girls, as they are the homemakers. While discussing these misconceptions, I would like to add that the study of this subject is not gender specific or any task specific. This subject helps in improving the quality of life by associating it with day-to-day -day life. Relating the knowledge of this subject with gender or any task is absolutely irrational. In current scenario, Men and women both are going out for work. Hence, it becomes essential for both the genders to have knowledge of basic life skills like preparation of food, managing finances, understanding and giving importance to our resources. Apart from these, the cognizance of human behavior, communication patterns and basic understanding of nutrition never goes in vain. At last, the title of this subject is considered most appropriate as the content is practical in nature. You will be able to relate this subject with yourself. With further learnings of home science or human ecology and family sciences, you will realize that this subject plays significant role in improving quality of life irrespective of the fact whether you live in village or in a city, whether you are a male or you are a female. As an end note, I would like to add, this subject will answer some of the questions young people have about their lives. With this thought, I will end my today's lecture and will see you all with my next video. Till then, take care and stay blessed.